Hi, everybody. I'm Mike Staver. This is Mondays with Mike, a weekly video series where I answer questions from people just like you. Here's this week's question. I have decided to get a divorce. Oh, I have tried everything I know to try, and it just doesn't get better. My faith tradition, oh no, you're not going to ask me one of these questions. My faith tradition says it's a sin to get a divorce. What is your opinion? Not about whether it's a sin, but about divorce in general. Well, thank you for getting me off the hook on the sin question, because I wasn't going to touch that question with a 10-foot pole. Um, But I will tell you that 50%, over 50%, based on the most recent statistics of marriages end in divorce. That's an interesting statistic, right? Uh, There must be a reason for that. I'm not sure what the reason is. You can draw your own conclusions about what that is. Uh, I will tell you, I have been uh, uh, through divorce before. It's not pleasant. It's not pleasant for the person initiating it. It's not pleasant for the person receiving the news of the divorce, or even if it's mutual. Uh, It's mutual all's well. It's never, ever all well. So here's my opinion about divorce in general. Um, it happens. Uh, don't ever think it couldn't happen to you. It could happen to you. I had a client one time who basically uh, had a very strong faith tradition like you do, who said, I'll never get a divorce. I don't care how bad it gets. And the next year they got a divorce. And so this is a real sociological familial factor. I want you to know, though, that to rationalize and minimize the effects of divorce on you, on those around you, and on your children is probably a mistake. So make sure you pay attention to it. Secondly, most people who get a divorce have an unrealistic expectation about what life will be like afterwards. So this whole idea that uh, the grass is always greener isn't always the case. So make sure that you've done everything that you can, that you've got accepted responsibility for your contribution. Recently, I was talking to somebody and they were talking uh, very um, disparagingly about the spouse they were getting a divorce from. And when I asked them the question, what was your contribution to the divorce? It set them back and they said, you know what? It took them a minute, took them 10 minutes to answer it. And then finally they answered the question and realized, wow, I was a contributor. So if you're in the blame game and say it's all their fault and none of your responsibility, I would wait until you, um, until you can own your own stuff. Otherwise, you're going to carry that baggage into the next thing. It's never pleasant, but it does happen. If it does happen, get in a good divorce recovery workshop or a good divorce recovery program so you can learn from it so you don't repeat your same mistakes uh, again. The other thing I would say is don't jump right back in another relationship. Whatever you do, give it some time. Hope that was helpful. Until next time, this is Mondays with Mike. If you have a question and you'd like to me to answer it on air, uh, you can send your question info at mikestaver.com and we will answer that question as soon as possible. Take care, everybody.